hi guys lens here in this video we are going to do a port replacement for this a21s and the first thing you want to do is to remove the sim because we are going to use heat and it can damage the sim card so what i want is i want a plastic tool and also a razor blade yeah we're going to heat the back off So guys, all of the screws are out and we're going to remove the back cover. You can use a plastic tool. I'm just using my fingernail basically. Uh, it's the first time that this phone is opening so it might be a bit tight. So there we go and what we're going to be doing is we're going to unplug this ribbon which is this one and let me get my tweezer to remove this antenna cable. Then we are going to remove this board. Yeah, this will be probably stick down. So, we'll trim off this board. And what we are going to change is this port. So we are going to change the charging port. Well, we have the same exact port here. We're going to change this. Well, we're going to do a shortcut, you know. We're going to change this port. But there's an overlay. There's an overlay on the pins. And normally that usually be a problem. There is an overlay. I don't know if you can see it, but the pins are covered. Right, so what you want to do when you're doing this port replacement is that there are a lot of small components all around here and damn this is a risky job you know so as you heat you have to be so careful because if if we damage this board we don't have another so that's what i'm So, so far we got the port off successfully and I just want to show you guys the overlay in which I was talking about. You can see the overlay there. We need to take it off. So we may have to heat it off, right? And we still need to be careful because you don't want to damage anything underneath here. There are a lot of small components, IC and capacitors and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm at 400 degrees heat. I'm feeling a bit lazy to change it. So, let's just try and take this off.
was successful in removing the over layer uh, what we can do we can even use our soldering iron and do these pins over that's the best thing to do uh, we have to do this properly so I'm just going to use my soldering iron and just do over these pins we actually have minor overlay on those pins so we want to make sure that these do perfectly so when we put on our new port everything is done successfully Okay guys, so I think my soldering iron is heated up properly. So let us just right ahead and We do still have some overlay on this port and we need to get all of it off So I think I'm going to be using a bit of a flux. Sometimes these flux can be cancerous, so you don't want to inhale. You want to avoid inhaling. This board is hot okay so we just reflowed the pins we're ready for the port so I need to clean this up so we just cleaned up and we are looking good it's just for us to put on the port all the pins they're looking lovely so this is the new port and all I am going to do, I'm going to align the port. We're going to do this without flux. So let me just align the port. You want to heat by the four legs for the port. That way you can easily get this thing down. So guys we are going to do a test right now and what we're going to do is to just connect the board to the flex ribbon and ensure that we are getting charged going through this board and the phone is charging so we're going to plug in the charger. I'm going to plug in my charger and let's see if we are successful yeah we are so guys that's it there